Good morning, Kingsley Community. Pastor Colleen Weirman here with another daily devotion for Monday morning. It is August. Happy August, August 2nd, 2021. We're continuing through the summer with Prevail by Susie Larson. And then this fall, we will start um, Bob Goff's book. I don't remember the name of it, but we'll start that. So today is day 77. Remedy for discouragement it comes from 1 Kings 19, verse 7. Then the angel of the Lord came again and touched him and said, Get up and eat some more, or the journey ahead will be too much for you. So Susie writes, When we find ourselves in a funk, we tend to let go of a healthy, life-giving habits. This is true. We start opening the bag of chips, dipping into the chocolate reserves in the freezer too many times. She writes, We make poor food choices or stop eating altogether. I don't stop eating. I just start eating. <laughs> we waste time, but we don't sleep well. We pull away from community and we stop asking God for fresh revelation of himself. Elijah was there. He just experienced a major victory, but with the triumph came a threat on his life. So Elijah ran and hid and curled up in a ball and asked to God, or asked to die. Yet God's kind and compassionate direction was both practical and spiritual. He provided bread and water and told Elijah to eat and drink. Then, with a full stomach, his, he put his head down and took another nap. Once again, the angel of the Lord told him to get up and eat some more. Otherwise, the journey would be too much for him. Elijah still had a purpose. You still have a purpose, too. When you're worn out and discouraged, which I know a lot of us are, get some restorative rest, eat a good meal, and ask God to speak to you. Your story is not over until God says it is. So if you're feeling discouraged today, the remedy for that is to get some rest, take care of your body, choose some healthy things to eat, go for a bike ride, um, meditate, sit and do nothing but ponder on God's word. So read 1 Kings 19 verses 1 through 8. What does your soul need today? Do what nourishes it. Loosen up your calendar from work or responsibilities, reinstate a good bedtime, ask for a fresh God-given revelation, and he will give it to you. Let's pray. Jesus, I am both physically and spiritually tired. Help me to tend to both aspects of who I am. Show me what habits are healthy and life-giving. Strengthen me once again. Speak, Lord, I am listening. Amen. So when you feel discouraged and you want to crawl up into a ball, apparently Elijah did, but God made sure he ate God made sure to tell him to get some rest. God made sure he rested again and made sure he ate. And then God spoke to him and he moved on. He moved forward. So keep moving, but ask God for some help and for some encouragement and put into practice some good, healthy lifestyle habits. And so that's not just physical lifestyle habits, but spiritual. So one way you can do that is to get this book or any devotional. I share them on my Facebook page. The Upper Room. I share things from the United Methodist Church. Um, this is um, Prevail by Susie Larson. All kinds of recommendations that you can find. Find a devotional that's good for you and read it every day. And give yourself some spiritual nourishment as well as good rest and good food. Because when you're, when you're fed well, you're rested well, and you're reading from the God's Word, that's when He speaks to you. So I hope this was helpful on your second day of August. So enjoy the rest of summer. It's going to go quick. Um, give yourself some time to rest. And if you're like me and you look ahead and every Saturday in August is booked with some kind of work, <laughs> that means I lose a day of work or rest. So, because I work on Sundays, so take some time somewhere else. I'm going to have to take some time somewhere else to get some extra rest. And if I don't, I won't be any good to my church, to my parishioners, to my family, to the community. So make sure you get some rest. It's okay. You don't have to do everything. In fact, if we're trying to do it in our own speed and in our own strength, it's just going to crash and burn. So, again, get some physical rest. Get Reinstate a good bedtime. Because if kiddos, and I'm talking to you youth, I know you stay up till 3 o'clock in the morning. <laughs> That's not going to work when you got to go to school in a few months, or actually a month. So, um, start instilling a good bedtime. It, it, maybe not every night, but at least three times a week. So you can get back to used to being on that calendar. Get a devotional. This is Susie Larson, Prevail. Young adults can read this. Um, adults can read this. Even teenage teenagers can read this. It's an easy read. And it gives you the chapter to read as well. 
and then get some uh, spiritual goodness, get a, get a devotion, um, get some spiritual rest, meaning resting in God's word, listening for God to speak, eat something healthy, and um, give your body a break because we've, we're on a long stretch to the, or a short stretch to the rest of summer and we want to enjoy it. So if you're like me and your calendar is busy, and pastors could work seven days a week. In fact, most of the time we do, which is not good. That's why a lot of pastors are unhealthy. <laughs> That's why our insurance costs so much money. <laughs> so I learned that long ago that I need to take care of myself so that I can't give from an empty well. I can't give to people without being filled up with God's word, being filled up with good healthy food, being filled up with some kind of exercise for the body. And that doesn't mean you need to go get Fit Body Boot Camp, although that's really good. <laughs> Makes you really strong. But, you know, go for a walk, um, speak to God, pray, and um, just get some good rest. And figure out a time when you can do it, because if you don't, God will make you rest. Something will happen to your body, not that he, not that he did it, but that it's a consequence for not resting. Your mind and resting your body. We need rest. That's why God rested on the seventh day. So if God rested, we should be resting too during the week. And sometimes we just want to do so many things with the family. We want to go camping. And sometimes it's more exhausting than just staying at home. But I know camping is good and everybody thinks they're going to relax, which is a good thing. But sometimes it's, you know, you get home and on Monday morning you got to go to work and you're more exhausted than you were when you left. <laughs> so let's not try to make it perfect. Let's just get some rest, eat some good food. And let's make sure for this month of August, we really soak in the rest of summer. So I hope this was helpful for you. It was helpful for me to remind me to rest and to stay in God's word. And for me, studying God's word is not being in God's word. Even though I study God's word for the sermons every week, this kind of stuff, doing devotions, um, just reading the Bible for enjoyment. And I, I've talked with people, they're like, I read it and I don't understand it. We're not reading for for understanding right off the bat, we're reading it for nourishment because it nourishes our soul. And then the understanding will come later. So don't get discouraged. Keep plugging forward. Get a Bible translation you can understand. Get a devotion that makes you read the scripture, but also speaks to the devotion in practical language. And um, stay in God's word. That's where we will be protected and that's where we will stay strong. So I hope this is helpful. I will see you back here tomorrow. Bye-bye.